My name is Bill Cannon. I'm a painter and a printmaker, and I've uh, lived here at West Beth for 20 years. Right now, we are in my uh, painting studio in the I Building. This is an example of one of my oil paintings, a scene in Jersey City under a, um, uh, a highway and this kind of fetid uh, swamp area with floating tires. What I like is when people look at them and think, oh, that's so beautiful, and then look more closely and say, oh, there's garbage floating in there <laughs> or whatever. I tend to be uh, pretty literal, very realistic sort of artist. Even if I'm working on an imaginary scene, I like to feel that when you see it, you can actually believe that it exists out there in the world. That's the same scene as this. So I did this area many times. I like to go back to an area many times and just keep re-exploring it. I like these night scenes. I like doing them. I still do them sometimes. This one over here, in the past I've lived in situations where I'm the only artist in the building and everybody else is like, why are you doing that? You know, like, how are you going to make a living, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, the stuff we've all heard our whole lives. And it's some sort of, you know, almost like tropical island kind of idea, but is it inhabited or isn't it? and it's a little spooky because of all the, the dark greens and blacks. That's an aqua tint. I like the shape that I had on the plate, which Rembrandt used that shape a lot, and I really like it. When I did the painting, I thought, I want to get that shape. I don't want just a, you know, a rectangle. So I realized I had to take a piece of wood and cut the shape exactly how I wanted it, and then uh, stretch uh, linen around it, and then paint it. So I was very happy with the shape. That was, that was one of the most important things for me. Uh, my partner, David Greenspan, and I um, had the opportunity to move into West Beth back in uh, 2000. We had been on the waiting list for about 10 years, which is actually not bad. A lot of people have been on the waiting list longer than that. For so many of us who live here at West Beth, um, we probably couldn't have afforded to live in Manhattan had it not been for, for West Beth. And so I'm very grateful for that. My current project is kind of a documentary project on West Beth itself, on the building, which, or the series of buildings that are stitched together, which is so fascinating and has such a fascinating history. I've been doing uh, paintings throughout the building. Anybody who lives here might recognize that that's uh, the basement just coming out of the laundry room and going towards the stairs. Another part of the basement, which is closed off now, but uh, had these incredible pipes, and I thought, I've got to paint those. So I did that one, and I thought, I want to do something with natural light because the other ones, the artificial light, can be a little bit, you know, doesn't have the, the poetry, maybe, that natural light has. I think it would be great for uh, the city to find ways to make housing more affordable, uh, well, more affordable to everyone, but, but, all, but specifically to artists. I saw that all the doors to the studios were so interesting because they were all different and they all showed a lot of history. It looks like, you know, there was a lock, somebody broke in, and the next person or, you know, when they replace the lock, instead of replacing it, they just put in another one. I decided to really explore the studio. And so the first one I did was actually the central one, the largest one. If I'm over here and I'm looking out at the window and the radiator, that's what you see. So I wanted to get the sense of like a haunted space you know it's like it looks like an empty room the second one of, of these was the pipes and that's right here i just wanted to get the sense of like blinding light coming down from the outside and then working its way up into this kind of murky shadowy area I wanted to paint the floor because it has so much personality with all these stains that have happened over the years. So I just threw the shoes down on the floor and this is the floor coming up to it. So I kept some of the staining and then I played around with it, of course. That, that was, the shoes were the meticulous part and the floor was like the dessert. 
you know, where I could just kind of lay out the perspective on the tiles and then just do all sorts of drips and washes and whatnot just to texturize that floor and give it a real sense of, of grime and history. Thank you.